Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy Williams, I'm the guitar player in Steve Lane and the Autocrats, I'm in Toronto for Canadian Music Week and you're watching it on the AU Review. Thank, thank you very much for joining us and um, welcome, welcome. welcome to Toronto, we were, we were saying last night it's, it's your first time here. Yeah, my first time, yeah, it's, it's great, I think we picked the right time of year to come. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the vibe I mean, around town is just beautiful, just bursting with life and energy, it's great. <laughs> The weather is just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. It's yeah. better here than it is at home at the moment. <laughs> That's right. Which is saying something. Yeah. Um, you've uh, you, you played the show last night, you know. Yeah, how, we're at the Painted Lady at the uh, the Footstomp um, showcase. How did uh, how did you enjoy that? Oh, it was fantastic. It was great. It's a real small little bar, uh, but it's run like runs like clockwork. It's great. It sounded great too. The whole night, whole yeah, night sounded so good. Sound guy there was very good. Good. So how many how many shows uh, have you got while you're here? Uh, we've got two showcases, for yeah. a CMW and the Footstomp one. And uh, we, we flew in uh, last Thursday night. Uh, Friday morning we went to register and pick up a show for that night. Oh, cool. So we were jet lagged. We didn't know what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> but we went and played the show. It was, it was great. Tell, uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, about what we... What we experience when we see you guys live, especially in the current setup that, that you've got for these shows. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the current lineup, we're four piece, two guitars, bass, drums. Um, all, the, the, all the material's written by Steve Lane. Um, and it's kind of, well, according to the program, we are Americana indie rock. So, Get your head around that <laughs> from Australia. <laughs> but um, that's kind of melodic um, pop rock, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we picked up. We, our drummer couldn't make the trip, so we hired a session drummer from Toronto, which has been fantastic. Yeah, really good. He's great. We've done a few rehearsals, and um, he just he just fitted in perfectly with. The st you know, style of music it is, yeah. And the crowds, you know, how have uh, how have they been? Very good, mostly very good. Yeah, people uh, in in Toronto love their music. They love going to bars. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's a, it's a great city and it's a great music city. And are you are you getting to kind of experience? I mean, you've been here for a little while now. Have you been able to kind of experience Toronto as a music city? Most definitely, yeah. Um, well, you, you, at each show you get to see three or four acts, you know, either side or whatever, you know. I went and saw a, a, Toronto, a band from um, Ottawa last night called um, Amos the Transparent. Fantastic band. I yeah, love them. really Five good band. Five piece with, with the cello uh, and a female singer. Really good band. Yeah. So you'll hopefully you'll go back home with a few discoveries up your sleeve. Oh, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For sure. What's the uh, what's what's happening for you after Canadian Music Week? Are you doing more shows in this region, or is it? No, no. We're back home. Yep. Fly back home on uh, Wednesday, uh, and then it's back into um, life as a musician in Australia. Not necessarily with Steve. We've got a few shows already booked back home, uh, but I, I play in like five other bands. So. Generally, there's I've got work on, yeah. so it's back into that. So you're 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 a busy you're a busy musician on the road. Yeah, that's right, and enjoying it. Yeah. Who who are some of the other artists that you perform with? Um, it's just in my local hometown, uh, which is Bendigo in Victoria. Uh, we have a band called the Mock Bells, which is I play piano in that band. Mm -hmm. um, we've got various uh, sort of blues, old school R and B, a couple of bands like that that I play with. Uh, I do solo stuff, right, right, I'm a singer and a songwriter, so you put those together, yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those guys, yeah. uh, so I generally try and fill my week up with music. Mm. Is that is that something that's, that's, well it seems like that's something that you do pretty regularly. Yeah, yeah, it's a, because um, there's always rehearsals during the week if the show's coming up, um, there's writing, recording, all that stuff, yeah, yeah keep pretty busy with it. Fantastic, and, and and like you said, when you get back home, you'll keep keep doing shows with Steve, and yeah, keep those yeah. keep those bubbling along. Yeah, and I guess we'll be starting to plan the next album now. Are you involved in the the making of those records? Yeah, um, in a sort of 
it, oh, it's my role as a guitar player yeah. and, a, and a bit of an arranger as well. Um, and that, uh, that works out well because we can record. Steve's got a great mobile recording setup. Gotcha. So we could record wherever it's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. That, that helps. You can do it while you're here. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you have you guys thought about doing anything, making any recordings while you're here? Have the, the, the purpose for the trip is to uh, make connections yep. and and come back next year yep. and put together a string of shows, whether it's in uh, Ontario or you know right across the country. We'll, we'll see what hap- what happens with that. Yeah. But that's the idea that we want to we'll be back next year. Fantastic. Well, we wish you the best for it, and uh, thank Thanks, you very Lord. much for joining us today. My pleasure. Cheers.